So hey everyone welcome back to placements ready in this video we will be solving the problem mother vertex so let's read the problem statement out but if you are new to the channel do consider subscribing so let's start the problem so we are given a directed graph find the mother vertex in the graph if present and what is a mother vertex a mother vertex is a vertex through which we can reach all other vertices of the graph okay so for example if you see here from 0 you can reach 3 from 3 you can reach 4 so from 0 you can reach 3 as well as 4 similarly from 0 you can reach 2 and 1 okay so 0 is going to be my mother vertex here here there is no such vertex from which we can reach all other vertices so we will output minus 1 okay now the expected time complexity here is going to be order of v plus c and the space complexity is going to be order of v so i hope you have understood the problem let's discuss the problem in more detail so here if you see zero is my node from which i can reach three i can reach four okay similarly i can reach two and i can reach one so in the brute force approach what we can do we can do a bfs or dfs from each of the vertex okay so let's say we start our uh, bfs from here from zero okay so initially my count is going to be zero okay if i do a bfs here count will increase to one when zero from zero its adjacent nodes are three okay so when we go to three my count is going to increase to two when we go to four my count is again going to increase to three okay now we go to the node which is not visited which is two okay so here my count is going to increase to four and when we go to one my count is going to increase to five at last we can check if my count is equal to the number of nodes present in the graph then that is going to be the mother vertex okay so that is going to be the brute force approach but the time complexity for that is going to be order of v into the time complexity for pfs which is nothing but v plus c okay so this is going to to be the time complexity for that but now we need to optimize that we need to give the time complexity in this okay so what we can do in that case so let's discuss this as well now here the size of the visited matrix will be the size of the number of nodes so here size of the visited array will be the number of nodes itself so 0 1 2 3 4 so its size will be 5 initially all the nodes will be unvisited so when we start our uh, iteration okay so first of all what happens so when we will start our dfs first of all we will go to 2 okay we will mark it as visited okay 0 will also be visited and 2 will go to 1 1 will be visited but before doing dfs you need to check one thing that that node should be an unvisited node and we will assume that it can be a mother vertex so let's say my mother vertex for now is 0 from 0 we do our dfs we go to 2 we go to 1 we mark them all as visited okay now 0 has a neighbor as 3 we go to 3 we mark it as visited okay 3 has a neighbor as 4 so we go to it we mark it as visited now my mother vertex is 0 for now we can have a for loop as well okay which will be iterating from 0 to v now we go to 1 because the work for 0 is over one is already visited we will not do anything two is already visited we will not do anything similarly for three and four since they are all all already visited we will not do anything now my mother vertex is going to be zero what we can do we can do a dfs again to cross check whether it is possible to visit all the vertex from there or not if the, it is not possible to visit all the vertex from there we will return minus one in that case otherwise we can return a mother vertex as it is okay now for this the time complexity is going to be order of v plus e because we are doing a dfs okay and uh, at max it will take this time because we will not be doing a dfs for each and every vertex but overall this only okay and again we will do a dfs for the mother vertex okay so that is going to be order of v only so we can assume that the time complexity will be order of v plus e okay and the space complexity will be the visited matrix space which is nothing but order of v so in this way we can optimize our approach and we can get to a solution 
so i hope you have understood the approach let's discuss the implementation so first of all what we have done we have taken an answer as zero initially it is going to be with my mother vertex okay so it is going to be a mother vertex so we have taken it as zero initially my vector of visited can be having the size v and initially all we all of them will be a zero we will now start our iteration we will do a dfs for each and every vertex okay but for only those vertices which will not be visited we can assume that it can be my answer and we can do a dfs okay and after that we are done with this what we can do we need to check again so we can mark all the vertices as unvisited so we have done that only here we can again do a dfs to cross check whether it this is going to be my answer or not so we will do the dfs with this vertex only this time and at the end we can check if any of the nodes is not visited we can return a minus one otherwise we can return an answer and what the dfs function is doing when we have a node we mark that as visited and for all its adjacent nodes if that is not visited we mark we do a dfs from there and we simply return so i hope you have understood the problem so if you have any doubts write it down in the comments and don't forget to check the description we have added more graph questions there let's meet in another problem of the day video where we will be solving some interesting problem okay and if you haven't subscribed yet do consider subscribing thanks for watching